Okay, how you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove clicks and pops from audio in Reaper. I have a few pieces of audio in front of me. This is some voiceover that has some clicks and pops in it. And I'm going to show you how to remove it quite easily. This first piece has a nice sharp click in it. Then we can set a delay time. Then we can set a delay time right over here. It's a very short transient, but it's also very annoying sounding. Now we could just remove it, but that's not gonna sound very natural. A better way to do it is to fade it out and fade it in very quickly to reduce it. And with Reaper, we could do that by splitting it. So let's go to our preferences. And if we go to media item defaults, right here we could choose the length of a fade in and fade out when we create new items. Or if we split one item, creating two. So by default, it's turned on and it's set to 10 milliseconds. And it's gonna create a fade in and a fade out using this shape. Now for the most part, the default is pretty good. I just prefer to make the length a little longer. Instead of 10 milliseconds, let's make it 50. Hit okay. And now if we click anywhere in this item and split it, the default key is S. It's gonna make two items, creating a shape, fading out and fading in, 50 milliseconds long. Let's undo that and let's put that right on this click. Then we can set a delay time. So if we put it right here, hit S, it's almost completely removed. Right here, let's see what it sounds like now. Then we can set a delay time. That's a lot better, but we can adjust it using the shift key. Hold down shift, see how the tool changes to be a double trim tool. So then we can move this around and adjust the level of that click. This won't fix it at all. And this will remove it completely. Then we can set a delay time. Then we can set a delay time. And it sounds very natural because for this click, we don't really want to hear it at all. We want to eliminate it completely. But there's other times where we still want to hear that sound, just a lot lower. Let me show you how to do that. But check out this one. If I pop my P, if I pop my P, in this exaggerated example, I pop my P. So it creates this popping sound right here. If I pop my P, so we can reduce it the same way. Just click right here, split it by hitting S, and then adjust it with the shift key. This will remove it completely. If I pop my P, but now the transient is missing, so it doesn't sound very natural. If I pop my P, but we can fix that by bringing it out a bit to adjust the level. The more we go to the left, the louder it gets. So we can reduce it just a bit, like half as much, and let's hear that. If I pop my P, that's a lot better. It still sounds natural, but it's not popping as much. If I pop my P before, if I pop my P and after. If I pop my P, now in the last example, I hit the sound a bit too hard. If I get too close to the mic, if I get too close to the mic, again, it's exaggerated, but we could still reduce it to make it usable. So we'll zoom in, get nice and close, split it, and then move it to make it sound natural. We could remove it completely. If I get too close to the mic, if I get too close, or just keep some of the attack still in there, like this. If I get too close to the mic, if I get too close to the mic, before, if I get too close to the mic, hear that click? If I get too close to the mic, and after. If I get too close to the mic, if I get too close to the mic, and we could also bring this side out to make it fade even more. 
if I get too close to the mic, but that's a bit unnatural. Let's pull it back a bit. If I get too close to the mic, if I get too close to the mic, that sounds a lot better. So anyway, that's how to remove clicks and pops from audio in Reaper. Now for this video, we just use some voiceover, but this trick could be used for anything. Anytime you're hearing a click or a pop, a guitar squeak, or a digital glitch, anytime it's short and very transient, it can be removed with this technique. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.